There's one thing we didn't mention yet about the NH chess tournament. The playing hall not only included tables, chairs and chess sets, but pieces of chess art as well. And it must be said that we have seen many games that be considered a piece of art on their own. However, this doesn't apply for Wang Yue's last round game against Bereyev, which lasted only 9 moves. But this result was actually enough to receive an applause at the closing ceremony. Wang Yue had secured victory in the competition among the rising stars and this fabulous and undefeated 8.5 out of 10 got him an invitation to the Amber Tournament of 2009. But let's go back to the final round. Erin Lamy saved the best for last and scored a very convincing victory against Viktor Kochnoi, after which the living legend continued to give compliments to his young opponent for the rest of the day. After their post-mortem, the Amsterdam audience was treated a lecture by Kochnoi himself, who was remarkably honest and critical about his own play. It's a very, very important point. Uh, there are only 12 books uh, I think have been played, but Black has to decide what to do. Um, let's say, normally, the man belongs to D7. B8, D7, F6 or C5, like that. Uh, 94 would be would be the most solid. 94. And I played the, the least solid. Back to, back to his seven. And what can I tell you? seven is doing? Well, the only what, what I can think uh, uh, just uh, King A7, King, uh, 98, 96. Or. What I played of seven and five, hoping that will take, and I take with the with the knight. Uh, what will never happen? And now, okay. uh, now, uh, well, uh, Black played a uh, dubious move. Black played uh, f three. Black Black badly needs to open um, the diagonal files. Uh, on the king side, and instead, Black closes the the king side, hoping that for long for long time, Bishop doesn't have doesn't have chance to to play. Well, Bishop is uh, well, poor poor pit, but uh, <laughs> but that was that was wrong. But in the game after Bishop C8 was D4. Winning because whatever whatever I take, uh, bishop comes either to f4 or to b4, winning the pawn d6. The very last game of the tournament was Ceparinov Lubojevic, and it had a most remarkable finish. In an ending where both sides couldn't really avoid the draw, they kept on repeating the moves, not just three times, but no less than nine times. Even after the arbiter had asked the players what was going on, they continued for a while, until they finally shook hands. The final score in the tournament is 33.5 for the Rising Stars against 16.5 for the experienced team. It was very clear that we are going to lose this match, I mean, uh, all this to, to the young guys, because somehow we are somehow rusty. And you know, these young guys, they are in, in the best of shape, they have good energy, they have optimism, they are fighting for, I don't know, to, to conquer the world stop. And for that reason, uh, of course, they are very pushy to to become uh, world stars, like some of them are already, like Ciparino, for example, who is an excellent player, but of course it's not a surprise that he's doing well here. But for me, extremely nice and and very remarkable surprises are the Chinese and this uh, Caruana. And I, and I, and I predict them a very bright f future. Caruana finished third in the Rising Stars team and won a laptop computer which kind of relates with Kochnoi's final remark about the tournament. Unbelievable why, well they, apart, apart from Lamy, the rest, they play such, such chess, you know, just uh, 
absolutely the same. They play, they play the same chess, you know, like the like Chinese guy or Dutch guy, like, like uh, they have the same, uh, the same coach. I don't know. Yeah, the computer is the same coach. Computer. Yeah, unbelievable. And only, only Lamy has uh, something new in the, in, in, in the positions, in the opening. Yeah. But, but the rest. Well, it wasn't that bad, was it, Mr. Kochnoy? The Chess of the Rising Stars was creative enough to beat the experienced team this year. <laughs> On SB points, Simon Agdestein was the best experienced player. This concludes our video coverage of the 2008 NH Chess Tournament. Thanks for watching and goodbye.